Our PhD program is an interdisciplinary program um, and we have over 90 faculty members that serve as thesis members to, this, to those students. The, these are students from both the clinical and the basic science programs at Tulane University School of Medicine. Okay. We recruit a program about 20 students a year and then they have their choice for over 90 faculty members. For the first semester, the first half of the first semester, all of the faculty get together and uh, all the faculty sign up for these 20, 30 minute slots and any, every one of them then goes and pitches their research to the students and the students listen and, and you know something piques your interest or lights a fire in your belly then it's up to you to email that person and ask them if they can arrange a, uh, a research rotation which is about eight weeks. We have three research rotations. I think what is really strong about our program is um, the people. I think that a lot of the PIs are really invested in their staff and their students and their research. You should choose this program if you are interested in a variety of different topics, but you aren't quite sure what you want to study. Being an umbrella program allows you to rotate in a myriad of, myriad of different kinds of labs, which allows you to get experience in different things, and then you can really figure out what you want to do. What I love about the program is that I was able to choose from a lot of different fields since it's an umbrella program within the wing of biomedical sciences. So I did a rotation at the Cancer Center, I did a rotation at the Primate Center, um, and I got to explore a lot of different subjects that I wouldn't otherwise be able to explore. While we start off in these general classes, it gets more specific as we go on and to be able to take classes that are specifically in my interest and really dive deep into that biology is super awesome and uh, super important to me. The first year at Tulane, you will rotate through at least three labs to see how you mesh with the people, the research, the PI, and all that kind of stuff. And it really made me feel comfortable that I could pick a lab that was something that I wanted to work in and I could find people that I really got along with. Uh, just personally and scientifically. So we look for research experience. We really like applicants who have had at least some research experience in a lab. And if you've got, if you've done that, make sure that one of your letters of recommendation is from that research mentor because we really are looking for that. And in general, we also look at the personal statement. We're looking for people who have a fire in their belly about research. It's hard, but it's also great. But for the PhD students, uh, we're looking for uh, students that you know have a, a deep interest in science, uh, that are special in some ways where they, they really uh, want to uh, go into leadership roles, because that's really uh, one thing that the PhD program uh, is about, is, is training the next generation of scientific leaders. So we want people to have a keen interest in science, uh, that are willing to put the hard work in to you know, develop innovative ideas and to put those into practice and, and to learn the skills that they need to, uh, to become uh, the next generation of leaders. You know, once we commit to a student, we want to make sure they, they, um, they finish. And so we watch them very carefully that first year. I monitor all their exams after their first exam, making sure that they haven't been culture shocked by boom, 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 this, this, you know, this more rigorous curriculum. And if a student is having problems, we get them a tutor, we find a study partner for them. In extreme cases, we offer them, you know, we let them drop a course and maybe pick it up the next year. So if, um, for, for those reasons, our dropout rate is really small. We lose less than one person in every class, unless they want to go. Some people get into research and say, mm, not for me. But it's very rare that we actually expel a student from our program because, you know, once we have them, we're committed to them and we're committed to them finishing. I love the other students. I think that some of the kindest people and um, I've made so many friends in the program, in my cohort and in other cohorts. And, you know, we really support each other and PhDs are hard. They're really hard. And, it makes such a difference to have people who understand and like are just totally supportive. For the PhD students, I think we've really tried to build a culture for them because they're going to be here five years. Um, they all take the same courses in the first year, so everybody's in the, in the same courses for the whole year. And that kind of builds this camaraderie among the students. And in fact, most of the time we see that that, that cohort that comes at 
in that year sort of stays together and plays together, which gives them some social support. I mean, I've, the cultural uh, aspects of the program are great. The students that come here from all over the world really, um, you know, become uh, like a family and, and they get to know each other and there are friendships and things that you'll make uh, here in the program that you'll hopefully carry through uh, the rest of your life. I think we have some really impressive PIs. I think we have fantastic students. And I think New Orleans is a really fun city. Um, even if you don't think that's a factor, it really is because you gotta take some time off. You can't work 24 seven. Something I love about being, doing something difficult like a PhD program in New Orleans is that I feel that everyone here really um, values and appreciates their off time, their recreational time, and I think that I'm able to find better and healthier work-life balance because the people that, like my PI and other professors that I know, also value their work-life balance. So it, it feels like there's a top-down prioritization of um, health and fun um, and it's a good mixture for doing something as possibly stressful as a PhD program. New Orleans is a really cool, really interesting, really lively historic city. And to have the opportunity to live here for a couple years is just awesome. New Orleans is such a great city to live in. There's always so much going on. There's so much culture and there's so much to experience here. And you never have to worry about if you're gonna have a dull night in. There's always uh, things happening in the quarter, and there are all sorts of other fun places in the city. Uh, the Bywater, Bayou St. John. There's so much to do and so much to see, and it's just a super fun place to live. The people, the food, the culture, it's amazing here. But yeah, the food is like, best food I've ever had. I mean, there's no place like New Orleans. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Uh, there are things going on here that, that don't go on anywhere else, and so uh, you'll never be bored. Uh, there's a, a great social aspect to uh, being in the city of New Orleans and, and uh, being at Tulane University.